The best thing that you can do, uh, in my opinion, and I'm sure there are many out there, uh, if you find that you don't desire God or, or don't find yourself content in Him, uh, is to walk obediently by the Spirit toward Him. Now, that sounds counterintuitive, I know. Um, but one of the things that I've struggled with throughout my life is feeling, and, and I say that with uh, uh, intentionality, feeling as though God has walked away. Uh, but God never walks away. Uh, he has made incredible promises. And so when I'm feeling discontented in God, uh, I move toward him, uh, oftentimes through spiritual disciplines, uh, through prayer, through fasting, uh, through meditation. I dwell on his character and his nature. Uh, I go back to those Ebenezer's, and I know that's a oft not used word, but it's those little monuments that we build over a lifetime where we say God was faithful here, and he was faithful here, and he was faithful here. And I go back to remembrance on those things and, and, and in that, ask God to alter my heart and my mind to delight in him. And so, so often, and this is going to be hard for a lot of us to get because it's hard for me to get, but so often feelings follow faith. Faith doesn't follow feelings. And so if you're depending on your feelings uh, to direct you toward God, then uh, you will find yourself in this place over and over and over again. But if you're moving by faithfulness because you know the promises of God, that you have the same spirit in you that raised Christ from the dead, that he will never leave you or forsake you. These are some of the things that I remind myself very often, then I follow after him in faith uh, and my feelings uh, catch up, sometimes in a short time, sometimes in a long time, but every single time.